um, after a terrible accident, you have a variety of fantastic divine abilities, um, such as shaping thoughts into matter. What about your other abilities? I have many abilities. I can travel through time. I can change myself into different beings of matter. I can hear, I can read people's minds. I can travel through different realities, change my shape, create life, destroy life. But I don't destroy life. Or do you kill ants or cockroach? What else? Yeah, I can, I can turn myself into water. I can turn myself into air. Sometimes when I'm bored, I turn myself into a river. South American rivers are the best, in my opinion. Yeah, they're full of life. They're really interesting. It's really interesting life happening there. And yeah, sometimes I like to turn myself into actors that are on, on, on TV. You know, I am the, I am the actors you see on the movies. Billions of people idolize you and founded a religion. Um, you have you know, recently announced that you want to let go of this uh, this responsibility. Why? If a society knows there is a being taking care of them and paying the price of their decisions, people tend to relax. People tend to put all their energy in faith in that being, saving them or solving their problems. I've been doing that for centuries. I've been there for them, for human beings. I try to be unfair, I try to be fair, I try to be nice, I try to be bad. And all I've ever got was unthankfulness, desperation. Human beings has labeled me as God. I don't think of a God. I got these powers from a nuclear explosion. I was just a scientist. So that's too much pressure on one single person, right? Why do humans seek catastrophe and destruction? Do we need this in order to create something new, like like playing with a sandcastle? I go home and I eat my can of beans. That's life. Destruction. But after a while, I go through the place where I used to destroy things, and there's something new. A house, a building, a bridge. And I realize Life is like that too. Destruction, construction, forever, until I retire. People are uh, usually afraid of change uh, because they fear the new, but the single greatest constant of history is that everything is changes. Why can't people plan the future, including birthdays?
uh, each of us has been given the freedom of choice to believe in anything. Why do you think that the boundaries of religion and nationalism are disappearing and losing their significance? I realized that human beings also were tired of religion and nationalism. It has been following them for ages, centuries. And unfortunately, it hadn't we haven't brought them to anywhere. But there's some hope. And we can see it here, behind me. You see how many flags are here? Mars. A couple of years ago, that was impossible to get. And somehow, human beings found a way to manage. I want to be a part of it too, as a human. You can read minds. What am I thinking about at this moment? How does that help you? And what do you, what do you generally find relaxing? It's been six months since I'm a human, and to be honest, it's, it's, it's a bit complicated sometimes. I mean, especially cooking. Oh, is it called like that, cooking? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm very clumsy. I'm, I'm always cutting myself with, with knives or burning my arms. It's actually really painful. It has been a long time since I didn't feel what pain is, and actually, I mean, it's not that nice. And you have to go to pharmacy, and sometimes you have to sue your wound, and yeah, and, you know, and people sometimes they're a bit annoying, and, and you have to be really respectful to people's feelings because otherwise they exclude you socially. Sometimes it's really hard, but you know. I'm not thinking about the universe and about a drop of water and, and, and how to be how it used to be a fish in a river or uh, time traveling. I don't have to worry about those things. So I mean, it's actually kind of.